Well, the city council met last week. The vote was four to three. To burn the hometown people down and build a factory. Take that stretch of history. Tear it off the map. Melt down engine number nine and turn her in for scrap. Blue water, blue water, blue water line. Blue water, blue water. Blue water line, if you can't afford a quarter, you ought to give a dime. If everybody gave, then we could save that blue water line. I could tell you stories of the glories of that train, of the 49er miners. Tell of Jesse James and a thousand golden nuggets in the grape train robbery. How Abe Lincoln used to ride with Todd upon his knee. Blue water, blue water, blue water line. Blue water, blue water, oh blue water line. If you can't afford a quarter, you ought to give a dime. If everybody gave, then we could save that blue water line. Just 20,000 quarters and 40,000 dimes. And we could ride to glory on the old blue water line. We'd have William Jennings Bryan stoking coal on number nine. So dig into your pockets for the old blue water line. Blue water, blue water, blue water line. Blue water, blue water, old blue water line. We'd have William Jennings Bryan stoking coal on number nine. If everybody gave them, we could save that blue water line. Have a seat, I think there are a few left. Well, the train ran past our house in the afternoon. It was a whistle carried me away. It's a feeling that I carry deep inside me still. It gets a little stronger every day. And all through high school, time and time again, I'd stare out the window, wait for the train. Seems like it was always on my mind, that railroad line. There was always a train in my dreams, always a railroad running right under me. There was never a time when I wasn't free. There was always a train in my dreams. As railroads go, it wasn't very much. They called it the Nevada Short Line. A couple hundred miles of 50 pound rails, they laid them out in 1909. All an ore from the mines and food to the miners and people where they wanted to go. It's a Tonopah and Tidewater blowing for a curve, rolling down the grid in the bullfrog. From Ludlow North to the Tonopah Terminal, back across the desert floor. All an ice for the beer from the Gold Center Brewery in between the loads of oil. Till the mines played out, the people moved on, and there wasn't anyone to hear. When the Tonopah and Tidewater whistled for the curve, pulling up the grade out of Bullfrog. But when the mine plays out, the boom goes bust, the people leave, and they never come back. And now the depot up in Rhyolite's a solitary memory of steam smoke and long vanished tracks. 
90 years later, the rails are all gone, tore them up in World War II. Most of the towns on the timetable schedule have gone into memory too. But sometimes at night, when the moon's riding full, and the breeze plays gentle on the hill, you'll hear the echo of an engine with a full head of steam blowing down the wind out of full fall. It's a ton of and tide water with a full head of steam trying to raise the ghosts out of full frog. Now the years have reeled back like an old iron skin getting sweeter and sweeter as the train rolls in. I know how it sounds, and I know what it means. There was always a train in my dreams. There was always a train in my dreams. Always a railroad running right under me. There was never a time when I wasn't free. There was always a train in my dreams. Great Atlantic waters to the wide Pacific shore. There was always a train in my dreams. That's a combination of a song I learned from Steve Gillette and one that I learned from.